Today, it's easier than ever to explore media. Movies, songs, books, games, and pictures are available at a click. Sometimes we pay for them. Sometimes they're free. Sometimes there's a paid version and a free version. When we find media online for free, there are three reasons why that would happen. First, the artist chose to make it available for free. Sometimes when this happens, the artist is still getting paid through advertising that plays with their work. Or, artists might choose to share their work for free to build recognition for their name or simply for the sake of sharing their work with others. That is every artist's choice. A second reason you might find media online for free is the work is in the public domain. This means the work is not subject to copyright protection. For example, maybe the work is so old that the copyright has expired. A final reason you might find media online for free is the work is being distributed illegally. What I mean is, someone has unlawfully posted the work without the creator or artist's permission. This is called copyright infringement. But why should I care about copyright infringement? Well, the purpose of copyright is to motivate artists and creators, including you and me, to devote time and resources to making new creative work. We care about protecting these rights because we want artists and creators to keep making new stuff. Plus, it's just fair. We don't want people taking our photos or videos without our permission and sharing them. So why would we do that to them? Part of being a responsible digital citizen is steering clear of copyright infringement. To do that, we need to understand what it is. Show me what you mean. Sure, I'll give you some examples. Passing around or sharing copyrighted media on peer-to-peer -peer or torrent sites, especially sites that encourage uploading and downloading without permission, that's copyright infringement. Checking music CDs out from the library and copying them to your phone or MP3 player to add to your music library, that's copyright infringement. Same with watching or listening to the latest movies or songs, using sites that stream music and movies without the artist's permission. Sometimes it's tough to know if a site is legit or not, but if a movie just came out in the theaters and you find it streaming or for download for free, it's likely illegal and distributed without the creator's permission. And, Using file storage sites to allow your friends to download copies of your music library and movies is also a copyright infringement. File storage sites like Dropbox, Plex, or Google Drive are great for helping us keep track of all our important files. These might include our music and movies, but file storage sites should not be used as a means for sharing copyrighted creative work. These sites prohibit this kind of illegal sharing. Hey, I think I know one. What about using a recording app to make copies of music from an online streaming service? Right, that's infringement too. And guess what? There are benefits to avoiding infringement and searching out trustworthy sites instead. For starters, you know that you're getting your creative content legally from businesses that deal fairly with the artist or creators. It's the right thing to do. You also don't have to worry about getting caught and possible penalties you might have to pay for breaking the law. On top of that, illegal file sharing programs and sites often have malware and other bad stuff you don't want. When you use trusted sites, you don't have to worry about malware that could corrupt devices or dig for your personal information. Okay, I get there are benefits to being a good online citizen but sometimes it's hard to know where to go to get media legally. How can I find sites that respect artists' rights? Click through to the next video to find out.